uh, retrieve it. Uh, re- you will be able to retrieve it, and the data is meaningful for you. But to other people, this is just a gibberish. Not even the, your database admin can see the data. So even if there's a hacker, you will feel safe. Now, let's imagine scenario which is a bit more serious. You have a not so small data and this data is confidential. You need to be able to crunch this data, yet you are scared of data leak. Perhaps you are scared of neither Julian Assange or Edward Snowden. Perhaps you are a civil servant in a hardly democratic banana republic. Well, there are many reasons why someone wants to keep their data confidential. To illustrate such scenario, I will use a flight delay statistics. I got this data from this website. I picked the year 2008. This is the description as you can see. And this is the data. This is originally in CSV format. Well, this is CSV, it's just that I'm using a viewer. It has more than 7 million tuples, so it will take very long time just to enter it to the, to the database. So I'm going to use only part of it. I, on, I took only slightly more than 7,000 tuples. I've created the corresponding SQL. And here is the SQL file. It contains the table creation command in the uh, in this fir- in this first row, and the rest and the rest are uh, and the, and the rest are just insertion commands. So let's start. By the way, this 2008 underscore partial dot SQL is this file. Now the insertion has started. Je- uh, just wait for a while. Now the data has been inserted. You can see that now there are, uh, now there are 7320 tuples there. Now let's do some queries. This is the first one. Which airports have the most frequent departure delay? This is just an SQL command. And this is the second one. Also an SQL command. Which, air- which airports have the most frequent departure delay during the weekend? And let's see the third SQL command. How long is the total departure delay for each month? You can see that in all the queries I have executed, you can do the logical operations inside the database. Inside the database. Although the database itself doesn't know what data is being stored there. As such, you will get only a few output tuples. For example, uh, in this Q3.SQL, I only get 12 uh, I only get 12 tuples. I don't get the whole table which has more than 7000 tuples, but it has limitation. For example, this query. Which airports have the longest mean departure delay? This query has division. CryptDB unfortunately doesn't have any homomorphic encryption which supports division. Let's see what will happen.
basically there is an error <laughs> for this case I'll have to do the processing partially in the client and the client will be an application this is the application a Python script initially I simply I simply retrieve the uh, the departure delay total and the late departure tally and I calculated the mean then I sort it I mean I sort the tuples based on the mean departure delay then I print it so let's see retrieve 80 rows so this few I mean these airports are well they have the longest mean departure delay CryptDB might not be perfect but at least in this particular case I don't have to fetch uh, 7000 something tuples from the database as you can see I only, I only, uh, I only retrieve the tuples which uh, which said uh, which said is uh, which satisfied uh, this square and group by and they are o and they are only 80 and they are only 80 rows you can imagine that if i have to fetch uh, 7000 something rows that would blow my memory and my bandwidth if you have been working as a programmer for some time you are certainly aware with the problems of crunching large amount of data think about sorting them that's not going to be fun. In this case, I only retrieved 80 rows from the database. Not really troublesome to be processed here. For example, in this case, I, I simply keep all the all all the 80 tuples inside inside memory. Well, if it is seven thousand, if it is seven thousand tuples, probably I'll I'll have to think harder. Conclusion, CryptDB is certainly a great theoretical construct, and as it has been shown, it can be implemented by using current technology, although not yet completed. And it's also a long nagging problem, how to keep your data confidential even from your DB admin, yet keeping the data crunchable. But SQL supports quite many operations, well limited perhaps, but still numerous. Division, multiplication, subtraction. They have been demonstrated to not be supported. So more homomorphic encryption techniques are needed to support wide ranging of operations accepted by SQL. And it's also the case that potential users, if you are interested on this, they will have to examine whether CryptDB is secure enough for them. Yes, CryptDB has some security, but is the security good enough for those, us those potential users? Well, they have to review it themselves and make their own decision.